Before laying the base for a road or any construction project, it is crucial to check several properties of the base material to ensure it meets the required specifications. These properties include gradation, the distribution of particle sizes in the material, LA abrasion, which measures the hardness and durability of the aggregates, optimum moisture content, or OMC, the amount of moisture needed for maximum compaction, plasticity index, or PI, which indicates the plasticity of the material, maximum dry density, or MDD, the highest density achievable under standard compaction. In this process, we will focus on how to perform a gradation test for the base material. This test helps determine if the material has the right mix of particle sizes, which is essential for achieving strength, stability and durability in the final structure. Steps to check gradation of base materials. Sample collection. Collect the sample from the specified source, such as a crusher or stockpile. Ensure it is a representative sample. Drying the sample. Leave the sample to air dry for 12 hours. If the sample is completely dry, you can skip putting it in the oven. Otherwise, place it in an oven and let it dry overnight. Preparing the sample. The next day, take the sample out of the oven. Pour it into a tray and spread it evenly. Divide the sample into four equal parts as shown in the video. Collect the material from two opposite parts and weigh it. Example, here we have 9,311 grams of sample. Arranging the sieves. Arrange the sieves in the following order from top to bottom, 45 millimeters, 22.4 millimeters, 5.6 millimeters, 0.71 millimeters and 0.09 millimeters. Recording retained weight. After shaking the sieves, measure and record the amount of material retained on each sieve. Here's how to do it step by step. 45 millimeter sieve. Check the material left on the 45 millimeter sieve. In this example, there is zero grams of material retained, meaning 100% of the sample passed through this sieve. 22.4 millimeter sieve. Check the material retained on the 22.4 millimeter sieve. Here, the retained weight is 701 grams which indicates the amount of material that could not pass through this sieve. 5.6 mm sieve. After shaking, the retained material on the 5.6 mm sieve is measured. In this case, it is 4,715 grams. Due to the large quantity of material finer than this sieve size, only a portion of the sample, for example 1300 grams, is tested. The retained material on this sieve is 709 grams. But since this is a fraction of the total sample, we calculate the equivalent weight for the full sample. Fraction calculation, total sample weight 3895 grams, divided by the portion used 1300 grams equals 2.96. Total retained weight. Retained weight multiplied by the fraction equals 709 times 2.96, which is 2,098.64 grams. Similarly, the retained material on the 0.09 mm sieve is measured. The retained weight is 272 grams, and the total equivalent weight is calculated as 272 times 2.96, which equals 805.12 grams. Finally, weigh the material finer than the 0.09 mm sieve, which is the dust that passed through all sieves. The measured weight is 317 grams, and the total equivalent weight is 317 times 2.96, which equals 938.32 grams. Determining the percentage of passing using cumulative retained materials involves the following process. Percentage passing equals 1 minus total sample weight divided by cumulative retained weight, 
multiplied by 100, where cumulative retained weight is the total weight of material retained on the current sieve and all coarser sieves. Total sample weight is the original weight of the entire sample before sieving. Apply the formula. Use the cumulative retained weight to calculate the percentage passing for each sieve. Example for the 22.4 mm sieve. Percentage passing equals 1 minus 701 divided by 9311 multiplied by 100, which equals 92.47%. Example. For the 5.6 mm sift percentage passing equals 1 minus 5416 divided by 9311 multiplied by 100, which equals 41.83%. The percentage passing indicates the proportion of particles smaller than the sieve size. For example, if 41.83% passes the 5.6 mm sieve, it means 41.83% of the total sample consists of particles smaller than 5.6 mm. 45 mm sieve 100% passing is required as per specifications. The test result confirms no material was retained on the 45 mm sieve meeting the specification. 22.4 mm sieve specification requires 90 to 100% passing. Test result shows 92.47% passing, which is within the range. 5.6 mm sieve specification requires 35 to 55% passing. Test result shows 41.83% passing, meeting the specification. 0.71 mm sieve specification requires 10 to 30% passing. Test result shows 19.29% passing, which meets the specification. 0.09 mm sieve. Specification requires 2 to 5% passing. Test result shows 10.64% passing, which exceeds the maximum allowable limit. This indicates excessive fines in the material. Pan, dust. The pan collects the finest particles or dust. There is no specific limit for the pan, so it is not evaluated against a specification range. For the 0.09 mm sieve, reduce fines by washing or screening the material to remove excess particles below 0.09 mm. This will help the material meet the specified range of 2 to 5%.